to see set biology tcp i am mr wilson from of course the tcp academy you can find us online at CSET Biology TCP. You may also find us at tcp-academy.teachable.com. This exam is one as usual that some persons are going to find very, very easy and others are going to be complaining about. We got a paper today and we decided that we're going to be sharing with you uh, the 2023 Human and Social Biology paper for May, June. It's a paper too. Now, if you have not liked, share, or subscribed, it is time for you to do so now. And when you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. We want you to also like this video so it'll be added to your playlist that if the video is turned off, you'd still have access to the video. We want you to share so that more videos of this kind will come to you and we will be encouraged to make more owing to the fact that you, it will indicate that we have consumers. We want you to leave us a comment. Tell us where you are watching from and how helpful these videos are to you. I must remind us of my marathon, which begins this evening for multiple choice. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. We're going to be having at least five days of marathon for both biology and human and social biology. To find out more about the marathon, you'll find my number somewhere in the ads on screen. You want to make sure that you WhatsApp that number to, of course, be a part of a class. I want to use the time to shout out some caribbean island that they have been all locked in the marathon i want to name cayman i want to name jamaica i want to name barbados i want to name antigua i want to name trinidad and tobago i need to name saint vincent all these island their students are locked into mr wilson marathon they have been here for biology they have been here for human and social biology and if i've never ever felt good before i can tell you having seen these papers and the level of preparation that we put in we did 10 years worth of past papers for both biology and hsb and all my kids are celebrating i know I'm going to be having another year of 100% pass online. Let us hop right into the question that I'll be answering for this video. You want to follow for more, watch this video to the end as there will be playlists at the end for both biology, human and social biology, and agriculture. You want to also make sure you follow to have the other questions answered. Here we go. The number is 1-876-235-0591. Please, only business. If not business, please send me your message via YouTube. Number two, that's where we're gonna start for this video presentation. The others will come later. Figure one shows the process of meiosis and mitosis. They're all labeled here, and you're seeing the 2N, which is the diploid number of chromosomes, and the N or 1N, which is, of course, the haploid number of chromosomes. Now, the haploid number would result from meiosis, which pretty much takes place in our autosomal cells. That's the sex cell, which results in pretty much half a number of chromosomes. Of course, mitosis is really responsible for asexual reproduction, 
and it results in the diploid number of chromosomes. And of course, there is no variation with mitosis unless there's some amount of mutation, if any at all. With meiosis, it leads to variation, and of course, it produces four daughter cells. Mitosis produces two daughter cells. Let's look at the questions. From figure one, state one similarity between meiosis and mitosis. They are both involved in cell division. It's evident here. Are they both have? They both have chromatids which are joined at the centromere. And it's also true that they have chromosomes that are all lined up on the spin fibers. From figure one, outline one difference between meiosis and mitosis. Meiosis results in variation, while mitosis does not result in variation. Mitosis results in two daughter cells, while meiosis results in four daughter cells. Meiosis takes place in autosomal cells, which are our sex cells, sperm and egg, while mitosis takes place in our somatic cells. Ask only for one, but for note purposes, I would have given more than one. Figure two shows two types of cells, A and B, that are found in the human body. A seems to be an animal cell. And of course, cell B seems to be the sperm cell. Of course, this would have pretty much shown us the somatic cell in A, while in B, it is showing an autosomal cell. Identify the cell in figure two, which produce as a result of meiosis. It's going to be cell B. To name it, it is a sperm cell. Explain why meiosis is important in the production of a cell identified. Meiosis half a chromosome number in the sex cells. This ensures that with the fusion of a sperm and the egg cell, the diploid number of chromosome is restored. Now, this is very important to make sure that the organism is true to form. This question was pretty interesting. I have never in over 20 odd years seen a colored picture on a CXC paper. It's a good look though. Figure three shows images of a homozygous female and a heterozygous male Dalmatian dog who have mated to produce offspring. Forget about the male and female. It is not a sex link inheritance. There we have the homozygous and based on what we have here, we strongly think that this is homozygous recessive. And over here, we have the, the heterozygous, heterozygous dog. Using the information below, draw a Punnett square to determine the possible genotype of the offspring, which should be produced from the Dalmatian parents. The dominant allele for black spot is B. The recessive allele for brown spot is common B. Now, of course, by virtue of seeing the black and white dog, heterozygous, we can clearly say that the black color was dominant. Why? We can also determine from this that this is inheritance of dominance. Because if the dominant allele is expressed any at all in the genotype, then the phenotype will be that of a dominant allele as is shown in the block. There is no need to define the alleles as they are already defined here. So all we need to do to get into solving this thing, we need to look at our parental phenotype. We have a white and brown dog and a white and black dog. We have parental genotype, which is going to be common D for the homozygous recessive, brown and white dog. And we have capital B, common B, for the extrazygous dog, which is black and white. Then we come on down to the gametes, and we're going to just be se separating here the chromosomes, or the alleles, separating them here, separating them here to represent the gametes. 
then we are going to end up with what we call random fertilization. But the paper specifically said here that we are supposed to use a Punnett square, which is much easier to use. So we draw a nice Punnett square here. What we did, we place this here. We place this here. And then we place this here. And then we place this here. <clears throat> then what we did, as the rule says, the dominant allele is its first, first. So here we move down the B. Here we move across the common B. Move down the common B, move across the common B. So we ended up with this. And we did the same thing here. Capital B down, common B across, common B across, common B down. It doesn't matter how they are written here because they are both the same. Our task was supposed to look at the possible genotype for the offspring. We refer to the offspring as the F1 generation or the first filial generation. So the genotype, F1 genotype, is going to be capital B, common B, capital B, common B, common Bs, common Bs. Or if we were looking at the ratio, it would be 1 capital B common B to one common B common B. But oh, we're not looking at the ratio. Just to say a little bit more, this dog here would be brown and white. This dog here would be brown and white. And then these two dogs here would be black and white. That would be their phenotype. So we'd have two black and white dogs and two brown and white dogs from this. I do hope my explanation helped. In Dalmatian dog, there are only two colors for which their spots black or brown. Black and brown, it's absolute. It's a discontinuous variation. Now, if it is a discontinuous variation, then it's going to be a genetic variation, right? So black and brown is going to be a genetic variation identify this type of variation and state two examples of this type of variation seen in human so genetic variation are usually absolute right environmental variation usually come they are continuous so continuous variation they have continuum 1 1.2 1 1.3 1 1.4 1 1.5 that sort of a thing for continuous variation and it's pretty much influenced by the environment when it comes to the absolute black and brown that's going to be genetic variation or one might say it is a discontinuous variation now example of this is going to be dimples it's either you have dimples or you don't it's either black or brown it's either you have attached earlobe or detached earlobe going to be whether you have a unibro that's eyebrow coming right across or you don't have any unibro it's either you're going to have widow speak or no widow speak it's either you're going to be having hitchhiker's thumb or no hitchhiker's thumb it's either you're going to be able to twist your tongue or you can't twist your tongue it's not about whether you can learn to twist it or you can't learn to twist it all right so it's going to be absolute right either or either one of the offspring of a Dalmatian was completely white. Explain what caused this absence of color to our. We are seeing some clues here. Completely white, absence of color. That tells us about albinism. So it's caused by a mutation which caused changes in the genes that control the production of that, the color. This, is, this caused the dog to become an albino. You understand that if albino was supposed to be in human, what would have happened is that the mutation would have affected the genes and pretty much turn off the, the melanin, right? So you wouldn't get that dark color, you would appear to be white. Yes, albinos, we have had albino snake, we have had albino lions, we have had albino human, We've had albino all, all different types of organisms. So this takes us pretty much 
to the end of question number two you want to follow for more i'm going to be answering the other questions so you need to follow for more remember to like and share and subscribe when you subscribe click the notification bell and select all when you like it is added to your playlist and when you share more videos of this kind will come to you and it will encourage me to make more videos leave us a comment tell us where you are from and if you're finding our videos helpful we want to also remind you to watch this video to the very end as you are going to be finding playlists on screen for biology human and social biology and agriculture i want to invite you to my marathon we did really well for bio and hsb when we looked at paper two now we're looking at paper one and we are prepared to go the distance a minimum of 10 years worth of multiple choice paper will be worked for both biology and human and social biology we did 10 years for paper two hsb 10 years for paper two biology and we are continuing it's a minimum this time we're doing five days preparation for both last time around we did two and a half uh three days worth of preparation this time we are doing five we are going all out to help those persons who would have fell down on the paper two we are ready a number will be on screen for you in the ads that you can call but i'll also write it here the number is one eight seven six two three five zero five nine one remember only whatsapp no call will be answered and only whatsapp if you are interested in joining this class the class comes at the same cost that we charged last year not a dollar more thanks much for watching and as i usually say study to show thyself approve last year many students differed on their cxc exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness this year mr wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com we offer courses in cxc biology hsb english language and many others there are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.